Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video of Python series, I'm going to talk about dictionaries in Python. So again, I have split this particular videos into two parts, part one and part two. So half of the concepts I will cover in part one and half of the uh, concepts will be continued in part two. So when we talk about dictionaries in Python, right? What are the dictionaries in Python? So remember that we have talked about lists, right? Now list, dictionary, and similarly, I'm going to talk about, you know, the set, the tuple, and other things as well, right? Now, when you talk about this list and dictionaries in Python, these are nothing, but these are also called collection, uh, you know, collection data types. So when I say collection data types, it means that they actually keep your data together in a collection. Right. So list, if you look in the other way around, you actually see what what we discussed about list in our previous video. It can hold multiple data types. You can add as many values as you want to a list. Right. Now, similarly, for the dictionary also, it is almost the same case that you can have multiple, uh, you know, data inside a dictionary. So it is also called a collection. Right. So similarly, list dictionary, these are also called as collections in python list dictionary and in the future i'm going to talk about tuple i'm going to talk about sets so these are nothing but the collections as well right so when we talk about this dictionary it is a collection of key value pairs so when i say key value pairs right what does it mean key means uh, where, uh, like if you already know about map function, which is used in the other programming languages, then you would relate to dictionary very well, right? Because map is equivalent to the dictionary. So in dictionary has a key and it has a value associated to it. So for example, if you have a student, right? If you have a student ID, then you have a name associated to it, right? So key becomes student ID and the name becomes the value. Right. So that kind of data structure is called your dictionary. So this is again a data structure which is used in Python. Right. We will see it how, you know, dictionaries are created and all. Now, this is called your dictionary in Python and internally it uses hashing algorithm. So to store your data. Right. Internally, it uses hashing algorithm to store your data in a very ordered format. So uh, when I say ordered, basically, if you have defined, uh, you know, a particular value at key one and uh, a particular value at key two, a particular value at key three, it will remain ordered just like we saw in the list. So in the list also, you have seen that at the zeroth position, whatever the element is there, it will be still there until you change it. In the similar case, dictionary is also very much ordered. Now, this ordered is something that you should understand that before Python version 3.7, right? Before Python version 3.7, dictionary were not ordered, right? Now, after version 3.7 came into picture, dictionary became ordered. They are changeable as well. You can change, change the dictionaries and they do not allow duplicates. So key and the value pair. So a student ID will have a student name, right? So two student names cannot have same ID two different student names, two different students cannot have same ID. So basically key, key are always unique in dictionary. Keys are always unique in dictionary. So in internally, what does it mean that dictionary does not allow duplicates, but remember list do allow duplicates list. What we discussed earlier, they allow duplicates, right? Now this key value pair, wh why, why do we have this key value pair? So there is a reason, right? This is a way of storing the data. Right now, the way that this data is stored, you know, it is a particular data structure which stores your data in a very much optimal way, right? It uses hashing algorithms to store your data, but you do not go, uh, need, you do, uh, need not go, you know, in depth on this particular topic. We will, you know, focus towards more from the coding perspective and the features of dictionary, but internally this key value, uh, you know, pairs which are part of dictionary are very optimal. Right. They are very optimal in retrieving the data from the dictionary or adding the data or changing the data. It is very much optimal. Right. Now, values in the dictionary can be of any data type. So similar to the list, you can have any type of data. You can have a string, you can have a list, you can have anything inside a dictionary. You can also have a dictionary inside a dictionary. So just like we talked about multidimensional list in our previous video, in the similar way, a dictionary can also be stored inside a dictionary. 
right now similarly keys it is what is dictionary nothing a key value pair right a collection of key value pair now keys are always supposed to be unique right and so without any further ado let's do one thing i'll directly move on to the pycharm editor that we have and you already know that you have already seen this python project we are creating it together so i uh you know kind of expect that you are also learning it and learning it and doing side by side so i will name my file dictionary over here right and let me click on enter so this is my file which i'm going to create let me click on shift alt dot to increase the font of my uh editor now basically if you see how do we how can we create a dictionary now to create a dictionary let me say dict right dict is nothing but a variable what we have discussed in our previous video now to create a dictionary anything that is inside this particular curly brackets right in a particular format which i am going to tell now becomes a dictionary so to create a dictionary you need to have these curly brackets right now what is dictionary key value pair so key can be anything can be any data type so let's say my key is 1 right then i say colon and let's say the value is i'm just giving an example bhavna right and then i'll put a comma and i'll put another key and then uh, let me let me put bedi over here and let me put another key 3 right colon and let me put cloud and then similarly let me put comma again 4 over here 4 is the next key and then let me put uh fitness right so if you see here this is how your dictionary gets created this is the structure of a dictionary so 1 2 3 4 are nothing but the keys right each key has a corresponding value associated to it so this format of storing the data in python is nothing but it is called a dictionary now if i want to print my dictionary i can simply say use print function and i can simply put dict inside it and i can simply uh select my current file for running and run it so now in the output you can actually see that this is my dictionary which has come up right now similarly if i want to understand what is the length of my dictionary right how can i do that i can simply say print and then similar to the list right i can use the length function over here len is nothing but a length function now in case of list we were just putting in list in case of dictionary we are just putting the variable name as dict dict right whatever the variable name you choose here so you can actually see it says 4 so 4 is nothing but we have four key value pairs inside a dictionary so that is why it is saying that the length of dictionary is 4 right now can you create an empty dictionary so we already talked about uh, you know creating an empty list in our previous video for the list now to create an empty dictionary is is exactly same so if i create a dictionary with this curly bracket a variable with a curly bracket and nothing inside it it becomes a dictionary instead of this if i put square bracket it becomes a list right so now we are learning dictionary so i'll put curly brackets over here so this is what this is nothing but it is an empty dictionary now what i can do is i can simply say print dict and if i run this you can actually see that your empty uh, dictionary gets created so this is how you can actually uh, you know uh, see or or create your empty dictionary similarly if i want to understand what is the type of this variable dict dict is nothing but a variable we have already understood in our previous video what is a variable it is a basket right now in this uh, print let me say type right let, I, i can use this type function to understand what is the type of this dict it is same everything till now that i have explained you is same as that of list except for the structure of dictionary so now you can say it says class dict right now instead of this curly bracket if i put the square brackets and i run it it becomes class list it becomes a list so you should always use curly brackets for dictionary and square brackets for your list right so this is how your list should be now similarly there is another way of creating a dictionary right i'll just show you so for example this is the first way where you have directly written key value pairs right in a structure that dict allows right now what we can do is so we already have an empty dictionary named as dict d i c t right we already have an empty dictionary so you uh, there are multiple ways of creating it so now let me do one thing let me create a new dictionary d i c t 01 or 02 okay 01 
Now in this, I can use dict function, right? Dict is a function which is used to create a dictionary. So any values that you passed inside it, right, with a key value pair, inside a dict function, it becomes a dictionary. And you pass it to a variable dict01, it becomes a dictionary. So this is the dict function which is used to create a dictionary with set of key value pairs which you define inside the dictionary right now you can actually see the moment you click on it this editor also gives you you know the details of uh, you know what exactly this dict is all about right so you can say you can see it says new empty dictionary dict mapping right and it it gives you whole details you can always go ahead and read it later on now let me put in few values over here right let me say uh, in fact uh, okay let me let me just type in over here right uh, let me say over here the first value is one right and inside it let me say bhavna i'm just going to put in uh, two values over here just to in the interest of time just to save the time so two you can put in as many values as you want let me say bedi so these are the two key value pairs i have added over here right or in fact in fact let me type one more you know three comma cloud right so basically what it does is it will go ahead and it will create a dictionary with these key value pairs now what i can do i will say print and then i can say dict zero one right and now if i run it you will actually see that your dict 01 gets printed which is nothing but exactly your dictionary it is set of key value pairs key and the value key and the value key is three value is the cloud so this is another way in which you can create a dictionary right so you already understood what are keys what is uh, values now in case you want to retrieve all the keys which are present inside a dictionary so in my dict01 what are the keys one two and three are the keys now how do you fetch those keys to do that you can simply say dict01 dot keys and this is the function that will help you to retrieve the keys so let's say i assign it to a variable x i store these keys in a variable x and then what i can do is i can print the variable x now if i run this you can see that it says dict underscore keys is one two and three so this is how you can actually get the keys from a particular dictionary now can you do it with the values yes you can do it with values so let me say y is equal to dict zero one dot values right now the moment i do that and let me print y as well print and let me say y and now when i run it you will actually see that my values got printed values are nothing but bhavna bedi cloud right so this is nothing but this is how you can actually uh, you know create uh, a dictionary and you can fetch in the keys you can fetch in the values from that particular dictionary now similarly can you create a dictionary inside a dictionary yes you can always do that so for example uh, let me uh, you know just copy the my first dictionary from here and then let me just put it over here so if you see this is nothing but it is a dictionary right let me just name it as dict03 now this is a dictionary now inside this dictionary can i put another dictionary over here so let's say uh, let me just remove this so if you look here right now three in the value of three i can add in one more dictionary right in that what i can say that a is the key right and the value is let's say cloud right and then i can again put a comma then i can say b is the key and then i can, can put a colon and i can say the value is fitness right so what happened over here so one is the key bhavna is the value for one right two is a key baby is the value for two three is the key but this dictionary is a value for this key as three right now if i do print dict zero three right now if i say print dict zero three and i run it so you will actually see that this gets printed and this is nothing but bhavna bedi three and exactly my dictionary got printed so this is nothing but this is called dictionary nesting so this is how you can actually nest your dictionaries as well you can nest as many dictionaries as you want right so i hope you understood till here and remember that you need to 
you need to work on your own you need to type in the code from your hands to learn it just watching the video will not help you have to work on it by your own now similarly can we uh, try to access the element right let's say if you want to uh, you know uh, get what is the value for key 2 what is the value for key 3 what is the value for key 1 can you get it you can get it so you can say date 0 3 which is my dictionary variable name and then i can say in the square bracket i can say 1 right so this 1 is nothing but the key right so the, if i type key inside it and i say print right print dictionary print this one is nothing but the key over here so the moment i do that what will happen is you will get bhavna in the output right what happened here is using this key value you can always fetch the output using this key you can always fetch the value corresponding to that particular key so this is how you can access the elements from the dictionary now similarly let's say i write two over here i write three over here and i run it so what will happen over here you can see bhavna is the value for one for two you got bedi and for three you got this whole value which is nothing but a dictionary again right so this is how you can actually fetch the value from a dictionary now since it is a nested dictionary how you can fetch now you might say bhavna i want to fetch a value for a right i want to fetch the value for key a which is inside key 3 so for doing that what you can do you can also add another uh, pointer over here which would say a right what will happen is this dictionary 3 uh, you know this uh, dict 0 3 variable with 3 key value will give you this output right now using this output it will go inside a it will go inside using this key a and it will fetch you the value of key a now if i run it again so you will see it gave you cloud right now similarly if i want let's say i copy it again and if i say b over here right and i run it right now it gave me fitness as well right so this is how you can also you know fetch the elements from a dictionary another way of accessing an element is dict 0 3 let's say i'm just giving you an example get and let's say i'll say get 2 or let me say get 2 and let me do a print as well here so that you see the output now if i run this right you will see what happened bedi came in the output now what is this bedi Be get two is actually again used to fetch the elements from a dictionary using this key now essentially what happens over here is uh, you can do it this way or this way it's up to you there is no particular constraint that you have to do is this way so there are multiple ways to do a thing i've just shown you both the things so i think in this particular video uh, you know you would love to uh, you know do a hands on it on this to understand it because then we are going to proceed to our video uh, two which is the part two for the dictionary and i hope you are liking this particular video on uh, you know the python series because this will cover a lot of concepts and in fact in this dictionary video itself part one and part two i'm covering almost all the important functions that we use with dictionary apart from that if you learn only this much it is more than enough right if you learn only this much you practice this much that is also more than enough so this was about dictionary in this particular part one so i'll see you again on in the part two and thank you so much for being till here